American rock and roll singer Eddie Cochran, who was himself 21 years old when he died in the crash just outside Chippenham in 1960. Today a plaque was unveiled at the pub which serves as the headquarters of the Bristol Rock and Roll Appreciation Society. But it was an occasion which attracted Cochrane fans from all over the country. How far have you come for today's meeting? Uh, well, it's Croydon we come from. We were around Croydon area this morning, about 7 o'clock this morning. We've yeah. come down, it's about 100 and, 120 miles, miles, something like that. Is it worth it? No. Yeah, yeah, it's got to be, be on it. It'd be it's worth it be more if Eddie Cochrane's still alive. It would be worth it more if he was alive? Of course it would, because he'd still be doing the music, wouldn't he? Also there was Cochrane's self-styled number one fan, Bob Jeffries, who saw his very last performance. Yeah, yeah, back in 1960, yeah, at the Everdrum, Bristol, yeah. What do you remember of that? Well, very, not very much today, but I can remember uh, the, the songs he sung, Summertime Blues, Come On Everybody, all the big ones he, he cut like in the States. The most macabre of all Bob Jeffrey's Cochrane mementos is the actual death certificate. Well, it's worth a lot of money. His mother don't know he even got it at the moment. Probably she would in, uh, in the future, like I'll write to her and uh, explain it to her. But I'm afraid I couldn't part with it. You know, that's, that means that's, a lot to you, yeah, does it? Yes, it do, yeah. yeah. I'll show it you know, to everybody like, who wants to see it. Like. Sometimes I wonder what I'm gonna do, but there ain't no cure for the summertime blues. Memories of Eddie Cochran. Football now and a